Dai Zi Kang rose from a family of peasant farmers to become one of Shanghai's top property developers. His buildings are known for the high quality of their design and construction. With a personal fortune of over a billion dollars, Dai's business philosophy is surprisingly spiritual. To the Chinese traditional society is, uh, is not based on businessmen. It's based on intellectuals. We uh, focus on spirit. So the economic world, the leadership should be entrepreneurs. And people gradually understand it and accept it. Maybe not forever, but for this uh, hundred years, we'll be like that. Dai's generation were the first to be offered the opportunity to become rich. But they didn't all react in the same way. When the other, like my classmates, they got the job from the government, from the state company, they just like to stay. And for me, I have a very big desire that I need to earn more money to pay back my debt. And the, 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 the new economic zone gave me a lot of inspiration to try to make a fortune. Just go, go, go. Dai has come a long way from his poor beginnings. These days he mixes with Shanghai's elite and takes a leading part in the promotion of business thinking. He co-founded the new Shanghai Entrepreneurs Association, which brings together many of the city's top financial and business players. And he hosted its launch at one of his hotels. His own house is in a part of Shanghai that he developed himself. In the modern world of international relations, Dai thinks newly emerging China must learn to adapt. Traditional Chinese people always think in the under on the sky. So the world should be one word. So when we open the door, we find the world actually is not as before. We think it is this location. We thought this location is the world, but actually the world is bigger. Dai's current focus is his Himalaya center, a Shanghai conference venue, luxury hotel, museum, and art gallery. The idea is to fuse Chinese art and culture with Western hospitality. As a reaction to the materialism of modern Chinese society, Dai's architecture stresses the spiritual side of life. Dai has recently doubled his property portfolio with a series of purchases in and around Shanghai. But does he see the investments as risky? I don't think so. I, it's uh, the, the big market here and the uh, strong demand. We don't think there's any problem in the near future. Yeah. How do you decide which is the right risk and which is the wrong risk? This is my from heart. Yeah. 